Ladies and gentlemen, please provide a warm welcome to your tournament MC, Danny Blau. How's everybody doing this morning? Did you guys have fun yesterday? Wonderful, wonderful. Well, let's get things started. We had an absolutely phenomenal day of qualification matches yesterday. I was able to talk to the judges. They really enjoyed getting to speak to everybody in the pits and in the awards room, and we had a phenomenal day. And I know that that's gonna continue today. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Similar to what Ray said yesterday, what we're doing here is much bigger than you guys probably realize. You're living in the here and now, the present, worried about the tournament, the awards, the scales, the rankings. But first is about so many more things than that. And one of the things that's really important to keep in mind is how we define success. There's a lot of really easy ways to think of success. Did we put the cube in the scale? Did we put it in the vault? Did we win the match? Did we get the award at the end? But in engineering and in learning in life, success has a lot of different meanings. We can find success in the things that we learn throughout the day. And we can find learning no matter if we win, lose, success, failure. If the robot breaks, but we fixed it, we've learned a lot. So I want you, you guys to take a moment to think about what, really, what success really means and how we can find those things throughout the entire day and no matter what happens. So first has a wonderful video on this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the big screen. To me, robotics means... Mm. That's a good question. <laughs> first is more than robots. First is like a family. No, it doesn't matter your background because... It's community. Making things in general is what speaks to me. I'm actively changing the world around me. And we all work together. We end up coming up with really interesting ideas. And she keeps it fun. <laughs> The more people know about robotics and STEM in general, there would be smarter solutions to a lot of the problems that we have now. Yeah. It's just always intrigued me making something. I like building what comes to my mind. Maybe a mini helicopter. Mini robot. Like a butler. Like boats. I just love that feeling of building stuff. It brings out your imagination. It helps expose me to different things. It's almost like if you aren't having fun, you're doing it wrong. A team is so much more than just building. We meet a bunch of different people that we wouldn't normally meet. People from different cultures and races and stuff. It made me feel like that could be me. No matter what you look like or where you're from. We're just a team of people who really enjoy robotics. It's just a whole nother world. We can basically do anything we want with it. It's not just building robots. So I want everybody here, take a minute and take a, take a thought for what first means to you. There's a lot of great examples in that video, but what does first mean to you? All right, so now on three, I want everybody to shout out what they just thought of. Ready? One, two, three. What I heard was fun. We do this, we come to these tournaments, we, we compete like crazy, we do these things, we build robots because in the end, we're having fun. All right, this time I would like to bring out our first set of speakers from the Purdue FIRST programs, please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Kaya Davis and Kyle Heaton. Good morning, teams. Um, first off, uh, da, 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 da. there we go. <laughs> uh, Kaya, and he, Kaya and I are here this morning to talk to you guys about your future. So first off, can we have all of the seniors, current seniors, please stand up. Yeah, you, you can sit down, please sit down, please. I'm not gonna make you stand all day. 
Um, so to those of you that stood, you know, the seniors, first off, congrats to you guys. Um, you know, a year ago, I was in your shoes. I just graduated and I wasn't sure where I was going. You know, my future was up in the air, but I knew one thing and that I wanted first to be a part of my future. So remember that wherever you go, first can be a part of what you do, whether that's going into the workforce, going to college, the military. Remember that whatever you do, you can keep first a part of your life and speaking from my experience, it's pretty great. Like I, it's, it's kind of cool. It's the thing. <laughs> All right, so Kyle and I, like Danny said, are both involved in Purdue First programs. So before I get into the whole spiel of what Purdue First is, if you are a volunteer or a mentor and are currently involved with or were involved with Purdue First programs, please stand or raise your hand and wave at everybody. That's a lot of people from volunteers at the key volunteer positions to mentors at all of our teams to judges. So thank you for all of your involvement. We really appreciate that. Purdue First Programs is an organization at Purdue University for people who want to continue helping the first community. So to do that, we host events, we mentor teams, we sponsor teams, and it's a lot of fun. We get to volunteer at all these events, make new friends, and keep building those skills that you start building when you're on all of these teams. So for all of you who are seniors that stood up a minute ago when Kyle was talking, if you want to come to one of the best universities in the world and continue your experience with FIRST, Purdue is the place to do it. Boiler up. So that uh, concludes the uh, PFP talk. Please join PFP, we love you. Um, <laughs> So next up, it's continuing the Purdue theme. Please introduce, we are introducing Jeannie Umberger, the Associate Dean for Engagement and Clinical Professor at the Purdue Polytechnic University. Good morning. Good morning. Yesterday was an incredibly exciting day. And on behalf of Purdue Polytechnic, welcome and congratulations to everyone for everything that you've done. I know while I was interacting with individuals yesterday, they, some were asking me, what do you need to do to get into Purdue? What are some of the things that will help me to be successful? What you're doing today and have been doing to build the robots to be part of the team is what you need to do. First has so many amazing skills. It's not just being the drive team. It's not just being the programmer. It's also being the scout. It's also communicating. It's also interacting as part of a team. Those are skills that you are going to need for a lifetime. And FIRST does an amazing job preparing you. So I'd like to applaud, join me applauding FIRST for the wonderful things that they've done. And secondly, Let's applaud ourselves for the wonderful things that you're doing. Come on, give yourself a hand. And if any of you are interested, we've got a table out there. Come visit. We brought yet more stuff. And also today, we'll be doing some high velocity t shirt toss. Yes, we got to do a few more of those today. But. With that, I know I'm standing between you and getting out here competing, so let the games begin. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. At this point, I would like to reintroduce some of our key volunteers that make this event possible. Please uh, give a round of applause to our resident herd of zebras, I mean our referees. Let's give them a big wave. You guys know them, you met with them yesterday. We're gonna have some more judge interactions today. Let's give a hand for our blue shirts, the judges. And now, go nuts, go rowdy. Put your hands together for the group that makes this event possible, our Tippecanoe Planning Committee.
Awesome. I am so glad to be here today. So I am now going to announce the Planning Committee's Outstanding Volunteer Award. So this award goes to someone who has gone above and beyond the call of duty. They have worked behind the scenes to make sure this event has run smoothly. You may not have seen them around, but they sure do not go unnoticed. Thanks for keeping our volunteers fed and watered. We are grateful to have them as a part of the Indiana First family. This year's Outstanding Volunteer Award for the Tippecanoe District goes to the Froberg family. And now, it is my profound honor to introduce the 2001 Championship Woody Flowers Award winner, Mr. Bill Beatty, to present the Woody Flowers Finalist Award nominees. I brought some helpers along to make this presentation. These are the previous Woody Flowers Finalist Award winner. I'll have them introduce themselves. Mark Coors won it in uh, 2006 at Boilermaker. Mike Carmain to uh, 2013 at Boilermaker. I'm Alan Anderson. I don't even remember what year it was. <laughs> Daryl Nobles, Team 71, Michigan, 2002. Joe Reel, Team 292, and, two and 2008. Dan Newby, Team 447, Rose Holman. I'm not sure what year. <laughs> I'm Steve Florence from 461, and mine was in 2006 at the Buckeye Regional. Dave Smith, Team 868, 2007 at Boilermaker. Debbie May, Team 1023, and 2012 Michigan State Champs. Allison Phelps, 10, 10, 1024, 2007 St. Louis. Chris Elston, Team 1501, 2011 Boilermaker Regional. Woody Flowers gave it to me personally. Jerry Becker, Team 1675, 2011 Midwest. Mike Taylor, Team 3487, 2014 Boilermaker Regional. Chris Noble, 4580, 2017 Indiana State Championship. That's quite a group. Many of you heard before that the Woody Flowers Award celebrates effective communication in the art and science of engineering and design. What you may not have heard before is that the judges for this are the past winners of the award. Shown here in this picture, the judges hail from Massachusetts, Michigan, Indiana, Ontario, New Hampshire, Delaware, California, Illinois, Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Arizona, Minnesota, 
Washington State, West Virginia, and Hawaii. This group, at last count, had 425 years of experience doing FRC. When Dr. Murphy founded the Woody Flowers Award in 1996, he sought to celebrate the one mentor who, in concisely communicated written words of students, demonstrates the leadership, ethical behavior, and communication skills exemplified by Woody. At each regional event and each district championship, one mentor will receive the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. Then at the championships in Houston and Detroit, one mentor will be selected from the present finalists and the renominated past finalists to receive the 2018 Woody Flowers Award. At district events, we want to recognize every mentor who was nominated. This in itself is a great honor and it is a great way for the students to thank their mentors in a memorable and lasting way. So we will announce the people who were nominated for this event. Please stand when your name is called. Thank you, students, for nominating all these wonderful mentors and taking the time to make this happen. I'm going to announce their name. Please stand, like Bill said. We'll have a screen up on there to show pictures of them. So starting off, we'll do numerical order here. From Team 71, Scott Warren. From Team 447, Tony Sovereigns. From Team 461, Brad Thompson. From Team 829, Scott Miller. From Team 868, Alex Riker. Team 1529, Mark Snodgrass. Team 1720, Mike Koch. From Team 1741, Rachel Miller. From Team 1747, Doug Clumpy. From Team 3147, Peter Freistack. From Team 3176, Don Mayer. From Team 3487, Eddie Schmidt. From Team 39, from, sorry, 3494, Cindy Quaval. From Team 4926, Rick Lewis. From Team 5188, Taylor Fry. From Team 5484, Roger Johnson. From Team 6012, Tony Brazal. From Team 6451, Philip Roberts. From Team 6498, Lyle Oakley. Again, congratulations to all of these nominees and best of luck to you at the state championship. Let's hear it one more time for all of our nominees. At this time, please stand for our national anthem, singing it for us today, Liz Jones, Molly Page, and Haley Roloff singing from our host, 1747. stripes and bright stars through the perilous sky for the ramparts we watch were 
So without any further ado, we'll bring our teams out on the field to start turning on their robots. A brief note about our schedule for the rest of the day. You guys know this. We'll play our, the rest of our qualifi qualification matches, have our alliance selection ceremony just before we take a break for lunch. Then we'll have our playoff matches, and we'll close out the day with our final award ceremony. And now, I think it's time for robots. How about you?